Thank you. Dr. Fauci. Madam Chair, Ranking Member Burr, members of the committee, thank you for giving me the opportunity to discuss with you the role of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in conducting and supporting research to address the ongoing monkeypox public health emergency. I will outline how long-standing NIAID-supported research efforts have enhanced our preparedness for response to the emergence of monkeypox virus. First, I want to provide some historical context that relates to past, current, and future NIAID research efforts. It is worth noting that the emerging epidemiological pattern of monkeypox cases bears a striking resemblance to the early cases of HIV AIDS. In the United States and other non-endemic countries, monkeypox is disproportionately affecting men who have sex with men. However, anyone exposed to the circulating virus can get infected with monkeypox regardless of their age, gender identity, or sexual orientation. Thus, we would be wise to heed an observation I made 40 years ago in an article I published in the Annals of Internal Medicine in 1982 during the first year of the HIV AIDS pandemic, when I referred to what we would soon call AIDS, a disease that did not even have a name at that time. And I quote from that publication, any assumption that it will remain restricted to a particular segment of our society is truly an assumption without a scientific basis, unquote. And so, although we must focus our efforts on the group that is most predominantly afflicted and at risk, there is still much we must learn about this disease. Additional epidemiological and observational cohort studies, SIR surveys, ongoing surveillance for new cases are of critical importance. In addition, much work needs to be done in virology, immunology, transmission, and animal reservoirs as well as diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccine, which I will address in a moment. There are certainly some sharp differences between the early years of AIDS and our current situation with monkeypox. Unlike the situation at the start of the AIDS outbreak, the etiologic agent of monkeypox has been known for decades, and medical countermeasures have been developed, namely a vaccine, Gineos, and an antiviral, Tecoviramat, or T-pox. This is the result of decades of NIAID-supported research on monkeypox virus and other orthopox viruses, including the variola virus that causes smallpox. NIAID-supported research was essential to the development of Gineos vaccine. We funded a number of studies of Gineos from the preclinical stage through phase two clinical trials to evaluate safety, immunogenicity, duration of protection, and route of administration. We then transitioned the vaccine to barter, which supported advanced clinical evaluation, and we have recently launched a clinical trial further evaluating alternative routes of administration. In the area of therapeutics, NIA defunded the discovery of ticoviramat and the preclinical studies to determine the mechanisms of action and its safety and efficacy in animals. Again, together with BARDA, we also funded phase one and phase two clinical trials of tecoviramat. Clinical trials to evaluate this drug in humans with monkeypox are needed to gather additional data about the safety and efficacy of the drug in the context of the current outbreak. NIAID-supported investigators have recently launched a phase three clinical trial of tecoviramat focused on outpatient setting in the United States through the AIDS Clinical Trials Group. A separate NIAID clinical study of tecoviramat in collaboration with researchers in the Democratic Republic of the Congo will begin imminently. It is worth noting that the study in the DRC was planned prior to the current global outbreak as part of our preparedness efforts to study high consequence pathogens in key international locations where they are endemic. Lessons learned during the response to AIDS and COVID-19, such as avoiding stigma and ensuring the medical countermeasures get to where they are needed most, should help us in our efforts to respond to the ongoing monkeypox emergency. In addition, 
The U.S. response to monkeypox should in turn help to inform our response to the inevitable next emerging or re-emerging infectious disease of pandemic potential. Thank you for your attention. I would be happy to answer your questions following the presentation of my colleagues. Thank you, Dr. Califf. 